Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in a Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use personalized views and perspectives to provide your report consumers with a little flexibility when it comes to modifying your report. Stay tuned. If you're finding this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the videos from both Adam and myself. Okay, personalized views and perspectives. You combine those two, and now you're really taking your end user, your report consumer reporting capabilities to the next level. I'm not kidding you. They can dig in, they can start you know, digging for insights, answering questions, finding questions, answering those questions, just do a lot of things, all right? Personalized views and perspectives, they're kind of new, but they definitely can en enhance your reporting environment, okay? Enough of all this talking, you guys know what I like to do. Let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. Let's say you have this report and you've deployed it out, it's in an app, and you have some people using the report. And a report consumer comes up to you and, and goes, this is the scenario, they go, hey, Patrick, I'm looking at this report, I like it, I like it for the most part, but what's up with this pie chart? Why Why do we have a pie chart here? And if I choose something from this category, it's kind of pointless because it's just everything. Why would, why, would, why would anyone do this? And you go, this is what you say, this is what you say. You go, that's what they told me to create. I push back, they push back, I push back, and then they push me down. <laughs> I lost, I lost the battle. And so I had to create a pie chart. They wanted it, so I gave it to them. And then, the person goes, hey, no way. Can you give me some flexibility? Can you give me just a little flexibility on how to change this? And you go, sure, you can do it today. Let me show you, let me show you, all right? So you say, go to the workspace. Go to that workspace where this is deployed and go into the report and go into edit mode. And that person looks at you and goes, workspace? What are you, what are you talking about? I don't have access to no stinking workspace. They gave me the report via an app, which they shared it with a lot of people. They told us to use apps. We were told that you have to use apps. It's better that way. And he's right. He's right. Use an app if you're sharing your reports broadly. And so you can't do it this way. They can't go. They don't have the ability. They don't have the capability to go in the workspace and modify it. So what do you do? Right? You create a personalized view form. Ah, duh. All right. So let me show you how to set up this personalized view. Back to my laptop. You can enable personalized views two ways. You can do it in the service. So if I go here and I go to settings for that report, you'll see down here at the bottom, you can enable personalized views. Me, my preference is the desktop. So you can head back over to the desktop, choose file, options, options and settings, options. And uh, there's gonna be two sections here. Go down in the current file section and click report settings. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see personalized views. It is in preview right now. Go ahead and check that box and click OK. Right. And so what you'll see is if you hover over these elements, you'll see this new little icon. See that little icon right there? You see this new little icon. Now, for certain visuals, I don't want them to personalize it. Now, for certain visuals, I don't want them to personalize this. So you can disable it for all. You can disable it for several of them. So let me show you what to do. You go ahead and uh, click an element. And expand out the visual visualizations well let's collapse the filter pane and go to the format and scroll down you'll see visual headers and then if you go all the way to the bottom you'll see personalized visual so go ahead and click it now you can choose two of these at the same time if you're interested scroll all the way down two times and turn it off right so now i'm turning it off for all of them let's see if i can do three i don't think i can do more than two oh. Maybe I can. I was wrong. Ah, there you go. All right. So I got all these selected and I turn it off. All right. Because I don't want them to personalize my slicers in these cards. That's don't mess with this stuff. This is the static. These are static visuals and I want them to stay static. Now, these two, they can change them. They can do whatever they want. All right. Go ahead and save it and then republish the report. Now, if you are doing this via an app, you will need to update the app. Back over here to the service and just click update app, All right? Once the app is updated, you give that person a ring on the phone, you hit them on Teams and say, hey, sign into that report, go to the app and let me show you how to 
personalize this visual and you know you're like you like the superman on your chest you're like ha, 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 i'm gonna show i'm gonna get rid of that pie chart even though they told me i had to put it there let me show you so that person signs in and you're walking them through and you say, all right, when you hover over these elements, you're going to see a new little icon, right? Personalize this visual. Go to the pie chart. Go ahead and click that little icon. Personalize the visual. Now you can do whatever you want. So he says, ah, this is perfect. This is perfect. So I can switch the visual. I can change the legend. I can add more details. I can compare values. If I had some implicit measures, I can change the aggregation level. There's so many things I can do here. So they say, all right, well, I want a bar chart. So we'll switch this to a... A, I mean, a, yeah, a clustered bar chart. So that's cool. And then they say, all right, so I'm going to click here on this little ellipsis and I want to, let me see. Huh, I can look at this by employee. This is interesting. So let me click employee. Maybe I can see what's going on with each employee. What, what is, what is this? Wait, let me switch this to a table. What's going on here, Patrick? What's going on? What's going on, Superman? Why is this? Why are all the numbers exactly the same? And you sit there with this stupid puzzled look defeated like i don't know why they're all the same yes you do yes you do there's no relationship between the measure that's in that visual and employee and then that person goes well why do you have it in that list can you get rid of it and you go oh, yes i can i'll be back i gotta go to the lab i gotta go to the lab in the meantime do me a favor do me a favor right reset this so not only like they can start doing things but all they need to do is click this little reset this visual and it'll bring it back to its original state all right and so now i'm back to the lab go back to my desktop and what we're going to do is we're going to create a perspective and you can create a perspective to kind of I, when I create my perspectives, I think about it like I'm only going to build this list of tables and columns that are associated with the elements on that page. And if I can, I put the tables and columns, the tables, all the tables that are related to each other in a single perspective. So to avoid any type of confusion by my end users. Right. And so to do that, click on external tools and choose tabular editor. It's going to open up. You need to make sure you have uh, the latest version of the desktop and the latest version of tabular editor. Right click on perspectives. You see it right there in the list and choose new perspective. We're going to call this Internet sales and you can create, you know, multiple perspectives. Once you create the perspective, you need to add tables and columns. You can add individual columns. You can add individual tables. If I want to add an entire table, I can right click on it and say uh, show in perspective. If I want to add an individual column, I can right click on the expand the table and select the column and say show in perspective. I can multi select columns show in perspective or if there's multiple tables I want to add. If I just hold down control, I can individually select them. If I select one and hold down shift, I can select them all. In this case, I just want these tables and all their corresponding columns in my perspective. So I've selected them all. Then I right click show in perspective, Internet sales. Be sure that you go over when you're in the tablet editor, you click save, right? You save these changes back to the desktop. You head back to the desktop then you click save here and click somewhere. Get in the context of the report page itself. So click in the white space of the report page and click on the format icon and you'll see personalized view visual expand it and drop down all right expand the drop down and then you'll see internet sales you'll see your new perspective right there go ahead and select that perspective now this will be applied just to this page if you want to apply it to every page in the visual go ahead and click apply to all pages i just want it to this page go ahead and click save and then after you make that decision click save and publish this report back up to the service once it's published go up to the service and guess what? You got to update the app. That's okay. And then you want to call that report consumer up and say, all right, I think I got this all sorted for you. And I want you to head back to the app and take a look at that report. Go ahead and jump on teams. Let's share your screen. I'm going to walk you through how to get this fixed up. And now you can do all the work and we can get rid of that pie chart. All right, back to my laptop. I'm on with, with, with the report consumer. They're taking a look at the report and they go, okay, all right, great. So I can customize both of these because I'm using this little icon. This is great. My, my priority right here is to get rid of this pie chart. So I'm going to go ahead and um, personalize this. I'm going to change this to my clust clustered bar chart, which is great. I don't want to use category. And now you can see, hey, you're viewing a subset of the data set from Internet sales, which is great, right? Let me say this. Perspectives, they're not 
for security. They're not a security feature, right? They're a great way to provide a subset of the data, not to security data. So don't think of this as a security mechanism, more of a way to limit it, limit what someone can see when they're trying to do these personalized visuals. All right. Okay. Back to my laptop. So now I want to change this and ah, you can see employee is no longer there. So they can't make that mistake. They can use customer. They can use items and product and say, ah, this is what I was looking for. Color. This will make more sense. So now when I'm all done, right? Now I've changed this and now if I toggle between now I can see, you know, what what kind of money I'm making for each color of my products. This is phenomenal. But wait, I'm not done. Once you do this, you can create a personalized bookmark and capture the report's current state. So whenever you go back, it looks like this. Not only can you use the bookmarks to personalize this, but you can also share your changes with you. If you have the ability to share the report, you can reset it to the default state if you want to. There's there's so many possibilities with this new feature, these new features um, combined together. All right, what do you guys think? You have any questions, comments? Are you using personalized views and perspectives? Do you run any challenges? Are you doing anything interesting? I love to know. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. It's your first time visiting a guy in the cube channel hit that subscribe button if you like my video big thumbs up as always from adam and myself thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video